if he's blocking his neck here and he's defending, I just can't get this choke to work, yeah? And it's a pretty simple thing. But if this happens, it opens up the triangle for me. So I'm gonna push his hand into his chest, move myself away, and throw my legs over the shoulder. I don't care about this hand being here. You see his hand's in, it's not a worry to me at all. And I don't care that this arm is over this side. I'm not gonna move this arm either. This choke will work. From here, I bind up here so he can't posture. I'm then gonna change my angle. His arms on that side, my knees, his hands on the inside, doesn't matter. My knees go together. Okay, I'm not pulling his head, I'm not bringing the arm across, so I'm going to... It's the principle of, there's one crotch, there's the other, there's the shoulder, there's my leg, they go through the neck. So again, so I'm here, but this time he's hand fighting. I'm going to block the hand, I'm going to make a bit of space, and now uh, I've got my legs in this diamond shape here. I'm, again, I'm not worried, sometimes the arm will come out, sometimes I'll pull the arm out, it doesn't matter. Okay, from here, I go to my shin, you can finish the triangle wherever you like, but don't worry, about bringing this arm over. I'll put my foot on his hip. I'm going to change my angle. Toes back. Together. Knees together. Let's do it once this way as well. So you've got yourself into the arm wrap. Okay, you can't get the choke to work because the hand's here. I'm going to pin the hand in. I'm going to throw my legs over his shoulder. Okay, now I release. Hand to the shin. Foot to the hip. 90 degree or 45 degrees really angle here. Knees together. Yeah. Again, very simple. Okay, they work together very well. Okay, like a sort of jab cross. If you don't get one, you should get the other. But you've got other options as well. Anyone want to see that again? Any questions? Let's go. <laughs>